Hey guys, this is Andrew from Andronica.com and I'm here because Barnes & Noble recently updated their Nook Color e-reader. Uh, oh, excuse me, now they're saying it's the Nook Color best value tablet. It's only $249 and uh, it updated to Android 2.2, which I give them credit for. It's made the browser faster, uh, it added support for apps. Uh, like when you go to apps now, you can get cool stuff like Pulse, which is a, basically a visual RSS reader. Like uh, you tap on it. You know, you, you browse your different streams, you can link it with Google Reader, you can uh, go through and say, oh, this looks pretty interesting, I want to read that, I'll tap on that, and I'll read this article, stuff like that, you can launch it in the browser. Now, one part of the browser that I think is critical to the quote-unquote tablet experience that they were talking about is Flash. And Flash support, in my experience, hasn't been too great on the Nook Color. So I'm going to put it to a little test. I've got a Verizon Droid Charge here. They're both running on Wi-Fi on my network, you know, just so there's no, like, uh, juicing going on or whatever. I'm going to give the Nook Color a head start on loading a website because this has a slower processor. The Droid Charge has a 1 gigahertz uh, Hummingbird. I believe this has, like, 768 or something along the line, 7 something. Uh, don't quote me on that but basically I'm gonna go to live.twit.tv you know it's a flash website to watch uh, podcasting so wait uh oh misspelled go back live.twit.tv alright and I double tap that let's see how well it does loading the flash okay Ugh, not very well All right, I think I've given it enough head start that was still not loading. Okay. Here I am loading it on the, the phone browser. And what do you know, even with the head start, the phone still catches up to it. And you know, and I know what you're saying, oh the nook colors and e-readers. Don't judge it like a tablet. Well, I didn't judge it like a tablet. But Barnes & Noble, after their update, they specifically said, you know, this is the best value tablet, quote unquote. Yet, it's getting smoked by a phone, a smartphone. If you're selling a tablet, I don't think you should be able to be outperformed by a smartphone device when it comes to loading Flash content. And my experience on this has been pretty bad when it comes to Flash. I give them all the credit in the world, like I said. The browser is much better. It loads websites faster. Uh, I'm going to try to go to another Flash website. You know, this is a live streaming. Maybe if it's something stationary, it'll be a little bit better, right? We can raise the volume now. Wow, that's pretty choppy. That's pretty bad. Remember, this is this is Flash. This you know, this is supposedly the good tablet, and it's not working very well. So, uh, sorry, Barnes and Noble, but when it comes to Flash, this is not a valuable tablet experience. The good okay, uh, the good thing about Flash performing bad here is that sometimes you don't need Flash. Uh, there are a lot of websites that have HTML5 conversion like Vimeo or YouTube, uh, but there are other options out there so you can stream. Uh, the HTML5 performance did improve in this latest update in the browser, so even though I can't watch a good Flash video on YouTube, I can at least watch an MP4 version that will stream in respectable quality. So in that regard, you know, if you're going to YouTube, and that's the only reason you wanted Flash, you're good to go. If you wanted to go to a website that uses like live streaming, like Ustream or something, wait until and see if Ustream releases a Nook app. If you want to go to Flash video heavy websites like uh, Daily Motion or uh, one of the other billion websites out there, you might run into a little more trouble. But whatever your case may be, good luck to you. I think the Nook Color is a good device as an e-reader. It's an excellent device. If you're just looking for something to uh, browse the web, you know, it's passable. But if you want like the high media experience that you're going to get, at, in a tablet first device, this is probably not the thing for you. This is Andrew from Adronica.com. See you guys later.